This is part of what we call the global hydrological cycle. Water evaporates from the ocean surface or potentially a lake or, or river or other water body. Um, it evaporates up into the atmosphere. As it rises high enough in the atmosphere, it'll condense into water droplets um, and fall out as precipitation, form a cloud. And through these processes, water cycles through our environment. Now, it turns out that the warmer the ocean surfaces are, the faster the rate of evaporation into the atmosphere and the more water vapor gas that will exist in the atmosphere at any given time. That means that water acts as a feedback in the climate system. Uh, when we warm the surface, we evaporate more water vapor into the atmosphere. Water vapor is another one of those greenhouse gases. So it acts as a greenhouse gas, amplifying the warming of the surface further. Um, and it's what we uh, refer to as a, a feedback mechanism, or if you like, a vicious cycle. Um, we warm the surface, more water vapor into the atmosphere. That increased greenhouse effect warms the surface even more, evaporating more water vapor into the atmosphere. So in a warmer climate, uh, we expect there will be more water vapor in the atmosphere. That'll lead to an, uh, uh, a um, amplification of the warming. But it also means that water is cycling more vigorously through our atmosphere. Uh, as it turns out, that uh, implies uh, more frequent, very heavy rainfall events, more intense uh, weather potentially as a result of this, uh, this amplified hydrological cycle. Um, and ironically, uh, although uh, the atmosphere can hold more water vapor and can therefore produce larger amounts of intense uh, rainfall in a given event, uh, it turns out that these events become uh, less frequent. And the warmer surface also causes more evaporation of water into the atmosphere, drying uh, soil surfaces, drying land surfaces. So in this warmer climate with an amplified hydrological cycle, we actually see uh, increased uh, rainfall, intense rainfall, flooding, but we can also see more widespread drought over continental regions. Uh, it might seem like a contradiction, but in fact, both predictions uh, follow from the intensification of the hydrological cycle.